know it works in milk, but what about water? Dip cocoa powder into water and it will come out completely dry. Dip it again and it might absorb some of the water, but with just a little tap, the water will start to go away because cocoa powder is hydrophobic. You can do this over and over again. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Pick star. Bend, don't break, five toothpicks. Arrange them on a plate like this, then add a few drops of water to the middle. As the wood absorbs the water, the toothpicks expand, try to straighten themselves out, and a star is born. And that's how you make a... Do you have a sink and markers and paper towels? Perfect, watch this. Cut the paper towels into different shapes. Cover in dots of a few different colors and frisbee toss into some water. The marker ink starts to bleed and create swirls of color. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Cover a full bottle of water with a paper towel, remove the excess, and then flip it over. Gravity pushes the water down, but thanks to surface tension and air pressure, the water doesn't go anywhere. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Remember this, put a paper towel in a cup, turn it upside down and put it completely underwater. Since the air in the cup takes up space, it keeps the water from coming inside. So your paper towel stays completely dry. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. This water bottle has been in my freezer for about two hours. It's almost cold enough to freeze, but it's still in liquid form. However, when I slam it on the counter, a process called nucleation occurs, which means the entire bottle crystallizes and freezes. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Stand on eggs. You heard me right, stand on eggs, watch. When you stand on eggs, your weight is evenly distributed, which keeps the eggs from cracking under the pressure. This is the same reason a hen can sit on her eggs and not crush them. And that's how you fill an egg sink or float. Make a guess. If you said sink, you're correct. However, if you said float, you are also correct. This is regular tap water, and this is tap water with salt. Adding salt changes the density of the water, so the egg sinks in this glass and floats in this one. So, magic candles. Set up candles and add water to a tray. Light the candles and cover with a glass. The air inside the glass warms, expands, and causes some bubbling. Then, outside air pressure pushes the water up into the glass. And that's how you make If you try to blow up a balloon inside a bottle, nothing happens because the air inside the bottle takes up space and doesn't allow the balloon to inflate. But if you cut a small hole in the side of the bottle, air can escape and the balloon will inflate. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Dissolve candy canes. Place candy canes into cups of cold water, hot water, vinegar, and oil. While you wait, make a hypothesis. Which do you think will dissolve the fastest? After a few minutes, check out the results. And that's how you a floating band. Cut a circular strip from a plastic grocery bag and blow up a balloon. Rub the balloon and the band on your head to create static electricity. Since the balloon and the band are both negatively charged, they repel each other, causing the band to float. And that's how you make magically move ketchup. It's not magic, it's science. When you squeeze the bottle, the water pushes against the ketchup and compresses the air inside the packet. This increases the density of the ketchup, causing it to sink. Let go, and the air in the packet expands, decreases the density, and allows the ketchup to float back to the top. And that's how you...